Today's adventure will bring us to Cobble Mountain in the Belknap Recreational Area, also known as Gunstock. We'll be following this up to the top as this is Plan B. <laughs> plan A was Hedgehog Mountain. We got to exit 27 on 93. It was snowy, it was getting slippery, so we turned around and decided to come here instead. And so far, it just seems to be an access road. As I pan off to the left, you can see where spring is versing winter. So it's all become cross-country skiing trails out here, and they are groomed. Our old friend Mount Row. We spent hours checking out that mountain, just exploring the old chairlift area. Coming down to this area, where it's all completely groomed. Look at how wide it is. And, it's all set for nighttime too, because they've got lights. Look how much snow is packed there. That's because they have snow making. They actually make snow on this for the cross country skiers. Another shot of this cross country skiers highway. It's very wide. Extremely wide. You can see gun stock in the background. Old 55 gallon drum here on the side of Cobble Mountain. Must be from when it was a ski area. Can't imagine why else it would be out here. Right, so we're bushwhacking our way to the summit right now. I'm not sure if this is a boundary wall. But as I pan along, almost looks like there were shrubs used to grow along it also. So we've been walking around up here on the summit of Cobble Mountain, trying to find the remains of the old rope toe. I'm not having much luck. There's really no views from up here whatsoever. You just make it through the trees there at Gunstock. But right, we were walking along and I noticed this sign. Historic rope toe, 100 feet. Where my bride is over there. Let's go check it out. Well, here it is, the rope toe on top of Cobble Mountain. It was 1,750 feet long. They started developing this in 38 and 39, and I believe it opened in 40, 41 with the rope toe. It was only used for one season. Due to subpar snow conditions, this rope toe was eventually relocated to the Viking Slope for 1941 and 1942 season. And this is all that is left of it. If you come up here, that sign that I showed you in blue, from there you'll see blue cut out arrows. It will bring you right to this area. An old artifact on one of the footings. Some more artifacts from back in the day. Just dug out another footing off to the right of the others. So working our way down from the top of the old rope toe, we found another footing. Right, I'm gonna try to keep working our way down and see just what we can see. Come across some type of a storage container that is also out here. Okay, so we're back down, as you can see behind me, beautiful blue sky. Would have been nice to have that on Hedgehog, but that just wasn't happening today. So, Cobble is done. Another one completed on a list that we're not doing, the Lost Ski Area list. Until our next adventure, the end. <laughs>